One of the things I used to hate is washing my hair, for it. It's like a headache for me to wash my hair. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Diva Academy. In this episode, I'm going to share with you all a mask that I have been using over the past 10 years that has helped my hair to become this strong, long, and beautiful. So here, I'm showing y'all my dirty, oily ass hair, girl, because we're going to do a wash, and I used to hate washing my hair like because it was so much time it was so much time it's so consuming and i legit had to train myself to love washing my hair so in this video we're going to talk about all that and also the mask that i have been using so this is my blow dryer here this is how long how strong how beautiful how shiny how oily how dirty it is and this is my natural hair and this picture is just when i cut my hair up because i was blonde as you can tell by the end and my hair was unhealthy so i started this journey again and in so in this video i'm gonna share with y'all the step process that i have been doing to keep and maintain the strength and the length of my hair and also how i recreated a relationship with my hair and because girl i used to hate washing my hair nobody got time for that and it was just a lot of effort because i have low porosity here so my hair doesn't absorb water very well it takes longer for her to get wet <laughs> you know so it's a journey it's it takes me two and a half hours to wash my hair yep that's the timing so what i'm gonna do is the first part is i'm gonna show you all how i oil my hair this oiling routine is something that i have created to do every night in order to create build a relationship with my hair so i would oil my hair using these oil the camela now this has a very strong smell so you gotta balance it out castor oil coconut oil and also tea tree oil to cancel the smell of the camela oil because that is an arabic oil and it's super strong but the smell to bobby pins because you know we like to sleep comfortable girl and do bueno no sé cómo se dice eso. I don't know how you say that but you get it so let's get into this so I actually do this very intuitively like I go with the flow girl because you know and I just be reciting and repeating affirmations in the process that I am doing this um I used to start doing this every day at night because this was like one this and washing my hair was the only thing that I was doing for a very long time because of um all of the things that i have going on and it is a luxury to take three hours to wash your hair every week like it's a lot so sometimes your girl was just lazy you know <laughs> and i would extend that time i would extend that time but because i would extend that time i would also extend time into taking care of her and doing this oiling process every night also i wanted to grow my hair so this is how I got my hair from above, from my ear length, all the way down to below my shoulder. Like, nearly my breast, girl. Like, it's covering the girls. So, in this video, I'm just showing you how I oil my hair. And I just really, really, really press it down in my head. Because we want to stimulate all those areas and just have, like blood streaming there for the strength and growth of our scalp having a beautiful strong scalp and then we're gonna go all the way down into the ends now this is the most important part because the ends of your hair is the dead ends those here are the hair that receives the least amount of vitamins the head the hair that is closer to the head receives the most vitamins especially when your hair is dirty dirty and you get very oily hair that's very good that's vitamin but what happens is the ends become dead ends because they don't receive the vitamins so we want to make sure that we oil those ends up very well so that each strand has the right amount of juice now while i do this i say affirmation i say that my hair is beautiful my hair is strong i have beautiful strong hair i have healthy strength each strength is healthy strong beautiful glowing long protected like i imagine like you know gold just streaming through each of the strands of my hair from the head all the way to the top to the bottom 
so this is how i like to imagine it while i'm oiling my hair and just think that you know it's receiving all the juice so after doing this what i start doing is braiding it so please be mindful of how i braid because i just be going with the flow yeah and sometimes when i notice that parts of the braid is getting thinner i just bottle hair from the other parts that's thicker as you can tell here and then i just continue my braid so it is i can braid very differently and fast and this is what i do every night this is just a nightly routine sometimes especially during the winter because that's when my hair is the most dry but also um three days before washing or some days before washing i do some like a little extra juice you know a little extra care care because <laughs> hair is beauty baby and that is something that i have learned within this journey not only hair is beauty but the energy of hair like our hair holds a lot of energy and it is very important to because this is something that i learned later on i used to cut my hair all the time i used to not let my hair grow longer than shoulder length as soon as it would reach the shoulder length i would just cut it and go all the way back to the ears so let me shoot it again boom so yeah and I, because I just didn't like it. And, pe and one of the things that I realized is because one of the things that would happen is as soon as my hair gets longer than that, I would start getting more attention. And I didn't like getting attention at the time or I didn't feel valued enough. I didn't feel like I was worthy of having attention. So I would cut my hair. So I would just look like every other curly girl here because curls doesn't there is this idea in the socials that curls doesn't get it's difficult to see beautiful long curly hair and i don't agree with that but you know it's a belief and that's why i will cut my hair now after that i learned all of about your hair holding energy your hair being tied to your identity oh you see i really love oiling that part <laughs> So your hair being tied to your energy, your identity, the, the things you go through. So what happens is your hair carries that energy. And a lot of the times, because I will be going through a lot, so many phases in my life, I will cut my hair because it will hold that energy of that old version of myself. And also because of what I just shared with you all about um, that belief that people have. So right now that I have longer hair, beautiful hair, I take extra care with it. I have a whole different relationship with my hair. Um, now I can see that. Now I understand that. We're going to blend all of this together. So after we blend it all together, what we're going to do is... Oh, I'm going to put it in a pot. Yeah, because this is how I be measured. I put the egg, mayo, and pot. The truth is, I just be doing this intuitively. Everything that I do in regards of my hair is very intuitively. So the measurement, this is the measurement. Please bear with me, y'all. Like this is just how I do my hair. This is a process I've been doing for so long that this is, this is how I do it now. You know. You see that? Now we're gonna blend all of this. We do not waste product, girl. As you can tell, like I am spreading all of the products. And after blending, I actually put on these hands because as you can see, we're gonna get it into it, girl. We're gonna get all the products. We do not waste product. So we're gonna get, get into it, sweep that thing clean because we need all of this on our hair. Another thing that I wanted to share about the hair is that hair is beauty. And not just, of course, we see it all the time in advertising and whatever. But hair shows how beautiful, how well you take care of yourself. It is a representation of that, especially for women. Now, not for men but let me explain to you let me give you some Scientology oh look now we have the mask now the funny thing is oh it smells good too <laughs> the funny thing is you should put this immediately on your hair however my there case is different so this is the hair the next day I know the kind of crazy girl but it's okay as you can see it's not that 
that oily it's dirty as f but now we're gonna do the after 48 hours i actually put on the mask i do not recommend this please just put on the mask immediately however i you know life happens sometimes things don't go as you planned so here are a few items that we're gonna need to apply this mask because you know it has a smell well it actually doesn't smell good but even the color changed did you peep that okay so let's get into it the scalp of the hair is still very oily from the oil treatment as you can tell it's super curly that's my real hair and what we're gonna do is concentrate the mask on the ends because as i mentioned the ends are the weakest part of the hair the part that has the least nutrition so we want to use this mask on the ends of our hair and work our way up now of course here i also have low porosity hair so my hair absorbs a little bit slower so i like to really push that product down and get it all wet baby all the way so this is what i'll be doing and after this i will be putting the plastic bag uh, i'll be wrapping my hair first and then putting the plastic bag above it so that the uh, mask concentrates a little bit more now i am in the cold country so this process actually helped but if even if you're in a warm um country because i used to live in aruba so i always do it and it will even work out better because it was almost like the product would smelt into the strands and that is what we want because the more the strands of the hair absorb these products the healthier the shiny the more beautiful the more vibrant the healthier the hair would be and that is what we want so yeah after applying the product throughout the whole hair there is usually a little bit of leftover so what i do is concentrate more the leftovers on the ends and then i start applying on the scalp i don't like to concentrate so much on the scalp because these products can be very smelly and we don't want our scalp to be smelly like egg you know but i do apply a little bit of the leftovers that i have just on the outside a little bit you know at those parts where the sun usually hits and oh yeah. <laughs> yeah so after doing this i'm gonna be um clipping the hair up and removing the i don't know globos no sé cómo se dice in english i forgot and then put on the plastic bag right around our head so this is as i mentioned is gonna help us help the product actually smelt into our strands of hair especially on the ends of it because that is where we want it to fully concentrate baby so this is it so both of these practices i have been doing for a very long time and each time they've both helped me got getting my hair this long so i really hope that you enjoy it and that you apply this and if you do let me know <laughs> i'll see you all in the next video bye